two in three games. Well, uh, and our kids don't quit. I don't think their kids quit either. I mean, it, it's two really good teams going at it. And the ball bounced our way again here in the ninth inning. Uh, a big hit by our senior, sell it to keep the keep it going uh, down to our last strike, I guess. And then Tanner, who'd been struggling a little bit, came up big again. So. Um, Incredible team performance. I don't think we played that well through seven or eight innings, but we didn't quit. We didn't get down in the dugout. We persevered and and, uh, and got some big hits when we need them. Was there a moment so in hard to come by, you Chad. You'd have a chance to win it. What's that? Was there a moment in that ninth inning when you thought you'd have a chance to win it? Well, I thought, we, and I didn't never think we didn't have a chance to win it. Uh, I thought Bryson had a really good pitch to hit, and he got a single there. I was hoping he, I put him in there to hope him get one in the air, and maybe hit it out. Um, but it worked out well. Both of them, you know, Bryson and Tanner got Marcus. Jeez, that was a big hit for Marcus. And we were lucky. The ball bounced our way. Ball bounced out of the kid's glove. And the kid made a great play in center field. And we are just very, very fortunate. Chad, it's so hard to get a sweep. It's so hard to sweep a good team. And you guys get the sweep here. And sweeps don't happen often in this series. No, it doesn't happen. And that's what I told the guys. You know, when two really good teams go at each other, usually, you know, it's going to be two to one one way or the other. And, uh, you know, sweeps are very, very rare. We'll, we'll – We'll take our, uh, we'll take it, and 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 our kids, our kids are resilient. They played hard, uh, and for the most part, I think they played well. We made some mistakes today, but it's a gritty bunch I got, and I got some older players, and they've been around the block a time or two, and I think that showed today. You had said she- in loosening up, even though Mincy was on the mound, you had said in loosening up is indication of just one how, hitter here or there, just how how badly you wanted this it, game. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Clemson, South Carolina. You want to win the game, and uh, Joel felt good today playing catch. So, uh, if it was a situation where they got second and third, and we needed one out, we might have gone to him. But you know, we didn't get him really hot. Um, but uh, Cody threw the ball extremely well. Got to give credit to him. Made some really good pitches when the game was on the line, maybe in the seventh and eighth inning, kept them at bay and gave us a chance to come back. Neil, with the way Schmidt had, <laughs> Phil, Phil gonna let somebody else ask a question. Um, with the way Schmidt had thrown, getting the double play ball in the seventh, striking outside in the eighth. Um, you know, clearly he looked like he was in a groove. I mean, was, was your sense that you could strain together that kind of rally against him? Well, we just wanted to get a couple runners on. He was dominant. He had dominant stuff in the seventh, I thought. And uh, it was going to be a it was going to be a tall order to score runs against him. And it was a tall order. I think he may have got a pitch up here or there, and we made a good swing on it. I, I, it's baseball. I mean, the kid's got a great arm. He's got a great future. He's a great pitcher. Today was our day. Did you think Grunner was out at home there when he was coming around? He'd have been out of it. I'm sure if he'd have held onto the ball, the ball, the ball popped out of his glove. Chad, both teams uh, talk going into this one about the series as a measurement stick. What did you find out about your team this weekend? Well, I think we got a tough group, and I think we got some guys off the bench that can help us. That was evident today with Selleck's big hit, and I think our bullpen threw the ball extremely well. It's just one series. We've got to keep us in perspective. We played 10 games. We're not. We're not 20% of our, through our season yet. Hadn't played a conference game, so we're playing well. We're doing some good things, but we got a long way to go. We got a lot to improve on. Even with the winning streak, the way it's gone, does this game give you a lot more confidence? The way you won? Well, I think, the, yeah. and I think the other night it went six to one. And, you know, we're a resilient group. We didn't give up, and we fought to the last out. And uh, that's a good characteristic, a good trait to have. You know, if you're a baseball team, because it doesn't always go your way. And uh, I'm glad our guys kept battling and fighting, and I'm proud of them. You're looking right down the line from your dugout on that Wilkerson ball. Did y'all get a break? Yeah, we could have got a break. It was it was close. We've had those go against us too, and uh, you know, and it's baseball. It's a hard game to play, a hard game to coach, hard game to umpire, and uh, maybe it was just our day. Now, a lot of a lot of your teams have kind of found a rallying point at times. Clay was a little emotional coming off the mound a couple of times after a couple of strikeouts. There any chatter about that in the dugout? Well, I mean, that always is competition. I mean, they play with some passion over there. We do too. That's competition when, you know, yeah, I, I, our guys get fired up when, you know, people get emotional and their guys do too. It's just baseball. And uh, our guys responded the right way. We beat a, a, good, a great team and Clay's a great pitcher. It was, it was our day. How hard is it to play three different days, three different